prices on a job like this for trades and suppliers can vary so vastly. It, it's you know it, it can be infinite almost what, what you can get prices back on. How do you control that? How do you find the very best prices for what you want to do for trades and suppliers? Well, a price just isn't a matter of the cheapest price. Uh, we're not always the cheapest in our fees, but from an engineering uh, perspective, our design specifies the cost of the building or a part of the cost of the building. So the better our design, the more economical your building can be. And it's the same with other trades as well. Labour components are fairly consistent. Um, you might get a slight variation in labour rates, but guys work for the right amount of money, an hourly rate. You could be paying anywhere between $35 to $65 an hour, give or take their experience. One of the best places to save money and shopping around is with the actual materials and your supplies of your materials because that's where you can get some considerable savings. And once again, you just need to do your homework, do the, do the groundwork, get the prices off the different suppliers, make sure you get two or three prices at least off the tradesman, so then you've got something you can compare with. And typically you'll find one that's really cheap, one that's really expensive, and then you'll get half a dozen in the middle that are all relatively the same. Straight away you throw the cheapest one out and you throw the most expensive one out, and then you look at the other ones that are all apples and apples.